So Vicky described me as a shot of espresso plus a dirty martini and rainbow sprinkles all in one. <laughs> right, and like when she said that, I was like, damn, that is me, ain't it? Wellness, career, service, whole you. Insights on living a balanced, purposeful life. Welcome to Whole You TV. I'm Shannon O'Brien. Today we're talking about service, more specifically, proactive citizenship. Helping us out with the conversation is Ms. Malia Lazu, Executive Director of Future Boston Alliance. Malia, thank you so much for being on Whole You TV. Anytime for Whole You and Shannon for You always. Can you start off by telling us a little bit about Future Boston Alliance? Future Boston Alliance is a nonprofit that was founded a couple years ago um, by me and the CEO of um, KarmaLoop.com, Greg Selko, and it's really to push for a creative and cultural renaissance. We love the city of Boston, and we feel like we have more than a branding problem. That there's some there's some things that we do that actually keep people segregated, keep Boston boring, and we wanted to change those things. Nice. So tell us about some of the projects that you're proud of. So Future Boston has three basic programs. Assemble is our in-person live event series. We bring people together um, every month, like the Urban Mail, which is a conversation for men of color entrepreneurs um, to come together and support one another and get to know one another. We do art curation, fashion design, um, you know, just a place for people to come together. The second program, that we have is called Accelerate, and that's an accelerator program, which I'm proud to have you as an alum, but um, the Accelerate Boston is an accelerator program for businesses um, within the creative industries. So um, everything from, again, fashion design to restaurant tours to media production, really creative ideas um, and local ideas as well. Um, unlike Mass Challenge, Techstars, some of the other um, accelerators that are looking for the next Google and you know lo looking for um, the next Facebook, we're actually looking for the companies that are going to create jobs in Boston that want to be good companies for Boston and that will help put us on the map nationally by raising Boston's profile. And then our third um, program is called Activate. We stayed with the A's, keep it simple. Um, <laughs> and Activate is a program that's around public policy. Um, again, we believed that we could do a lot of change by bringing people together and changing the way people interact. And you know, it's this space between you and I that is really where the revolution sits. Um, but we also knew that we had to change government. Um, and so we got late night train service as well as 75 new liquor licenses. While it may seem like a really strange, like, oh, liquor licenses, um, but we have two African American liquor license holders in the city. Um, we have four Latino liquor license holders in the entire city, and, um, and then a few Asian um, folks who own liquor licenses. You know, they have to come up with three hundred and fifty to five hundred thousand dollars to own a liquor license in the secondary market, and that's part of the reason why um, our nightlife scene and our restaurants and why everything feels so kind of white, even though we're a majority minority city, um, is because we don't actually have the diversity within um, you know our established creative industries to make it a fun, exciting um, feel. Structurally, um, I'm the most proud of of that. You're clearly very passionate about all of these issues and you're a fantastic advocate for the city of Boston but also future Boston Alliance. How do you personally keep it all together? How do you take care of yourself so that you bring the best you to these projects? Self-care is a part of Future Boston. We check in on it, and it's the first thing we check in on before we get to the work when we're doing staff check-ins every week. Because there is no outside, right? I mean, th this idea, you know, of like, don't take your work home with you, don't take, you know, your home to work, like, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So rather than having people lying and playing make-believe in, in these places, which I think also leads to like the burnout and the being tired and, and all of this, we embrace self-care and if there's our days where straight up you just need a day off because like mm -hmm. that you need it like then take it a lot of times if you're overworked it's just because you actually don't know what your priorities are um, and you're running away from your life um, or you're a bad planner right um, it's gonna be one of those three things and it is a choice um, you know and so I think that being very intentional um, about what you say yes to allows you to be very intentional about what you say no to as far as how do you find a flow um, for helping people I'm, and, and for being active and for being a critical citizen, if you're right now, if you're thinking to yourself like, oh my gosh, like I've lived all my life maybe concentrating on money and never concentrating on you know my legacy and like now, like what good have I done in the world? Get quiet and see what you want to do. If you do want to do good and you want to like get into your flow, do it. 
just join an organization that's already you know working give them support and make it local when a lot of people feel stuck it's because they're actually stuck in their life and they're looking and they're thinking oh if i go and like volunteer i'll start feeling good about myself and you won't you know um because <laughs> your problems are still going to be there you just really work on yourself and, and once you let that go the flow will come into you did that make sense it did to me oh awesome yeah. yay <laughs> yay I'd like to thank Malia for sharing her insights on how we can get involved in our community. As always, I'm wishing you a balanced, purposeful day. I think my, my mission is to, um, for myself at this point, after 37 years of life, um, is to become nothing but love and, and see what happens after that. Yay! <laughs> nothing but love! Right? Make the decision from there.